Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about my vanilla prepaid debit visa cards. And more specifically, I'm going to try to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is talking about if you can overdraft on your my vanilla prepaid debit visa card. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, if uh, you're not familiar with these cards, basically they are prepaid debit visa cards. You can buy at a local store. I think I bought this one at CVS. Once you buy the card, then you can use it at most places that accept debit visa once you've loaded cash onto it. So this is going to be a really quick video, guys. Not a lot to talk about, but be sure to stick around to the end of the video. There's going to be some really important information we're going to talk about. So overdrafting on your My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card, is it possible? The short answer is yes, it is possible, but it's not an easy or intentional thing that you can usually do. And why would you go overdraft with your My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card? There's actually a couple of different reasons why this can happen. The first and most common way this my Vanilla prepaid debit visa card can go overdraft is because of their monthly fees. So most prepaid debit visa cards have a monthly fee or some kind of service charge attached to it. So if you have money on the card, the monthly fee just keeps automatically taken away from that amount. Now the thing is, eventually you're gonna get to a zero balance, but they still bill their fees onto your account. I guess it's kind of like their monthly maintenance fee or something like that, maintenance to hold the account. So in order to stop that, you do need to call them to cancel your My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card. If you don't cancel, then they're gonna bill it and then it will go overdraft or over your balance on your My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card. So in fact, some of my prepaid debit cards have gone over balance from the monthly fees so just so you know, usually what I'll do is I'll just call them and let them know, hey, I want to cancel the account. And one time I did ask them, well, what happens with these overdraft fees if I go over? Is this something that's going to send me to collections or ruin my credit? And usually the customer service reps understand that it's a monthly fee, it's even if you're not using the account. So what they were telling me is that no, they're not going to report to the credit bureaus that you're overdraft because of these monthly fees. But if you just let it go and then you end up owing money on your My Vanilla card, if you decide to open up a new account, you do need to register with your name and your social security number, and they can put two and two together. And if you owe overdraft fees or extra amounts on your My Vanilla card, it is possible that they don't allow you to open up a new account. But that's actually because you would overdraft for other reasons, not generally for the monthly fee that My Vanilla cards charge. And that brings me to my next point, the Second most common reason you can overdraft on your My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card is usually at the gas stations. Because the thing is with gas stations, when you go to the register at the pump and you swipe your My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card, usually it's just gonna authorize $50 or $75, one of those two, because they don't know exactly how much gas you're gonna be pumping. Now, if you happen to have one of these really big trucks or something with a large gas tank, and then you end up pumping more than that, say more than the $50 authorization or $75, then they will push that transaction through onto your My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card. So if you have plenty of cash to cover that transaction, not a big deal. It's just taken out of your balance once they push it through. But let's say that you have $55 available on your My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card and they run the authorization for $50. So it will open up the pump and then you end up pumping, let's say $75. When they push that $75 through, you're not going to have enough money on your My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card. And because of that, it will push you over the limit. And when you do that, My Vanilla does expect you to make a deposit to cover that additional amount. And if you don't, that's usually when you're going to run into an issue if you decide to open up a new My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card. Because again, they're going to need to know your social and your name. And then when they notice that you have an account that you didn't pay back because of a gas authorization, then it is possible that they don't allow you to open up a new account. So that may or may not matter to you. But then I also ask the customer service rep, well, what if you're over limit and then someone decides not to pay because of that gas charge? And basically what they're telling me is that most of the time they just kind of let it go. It's not something they're going to send you to collections about. They see, they told me that in a few instances, if they feel like you're manipulating the system, then they have gone that route, but it's not too common, supposedly, from when I talk to them. So to answer the question, can you overdraft on your My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card? The short answer is yes, but it's not an easy thing. It's most of the time, if you don't have enough money in your My Vanilla prepaid debit visa card, the transaction's just going to be declined and you won't be able to make that purchase with a few instances, except for the gas station and the monthly fee. Oh, and then one last thing I want to let you know is that if you bought something 
with your My Vanilla prepaid debit Visa card and then it pushed you over the limit for some other reason besides what we talked about, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know why that might be. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.